Okay, so here's the deal track. I want like a cool intro for my my videos on YouTube, and I thought, you know, like some companies have like the lion roaring, and I was like, well, my cat can do that. Can you uh, can you give me a roar? Hey, I'm Mikkel Moose, and today I have a new project for you. Yeah, this is also a request from Olivia G. Um, she requested that I show how to make school supplies, and I thought about it, and thought about it, and thought about it, and I'm like, what kind of school supplies can I make? And, well, I figured one of the school supplies that you need is a backpack. So, in this video, I show you how to make a messenger bag and a backpack. So for this project, you're going to need scissors, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine, and some fabric. You're going to start by cutting a long strip, like a rectangle, um, at the width slightly larger than the width that you want your finished backpack or messenger bag to be. Um, you can use a doll as kind of a guide to figure out how big you want it to be. Okay, so now I've got my big, my rectangle. It's roughly rec rectangular. But what you're going to do is fold it over. I think I want mine a little bit thinner than this, so I'm going to cut just a little bit, of, bit more fabric off of the sides. Remember to leave room for seam allowances. Oh, let me show you how you fold the, the fabric when you figure out the length. You're going to fold it up and leave a flap of fabric to go over the top. Um, like that. Yeah. So you'll start by hemming the bottom and then the top. And then after that's hemmed, you're going to fold Good side, good side. And so these two portions together. And then once you get to the top, that top flap that you're going to leave, you're going to fold and hem that as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. And you're going to do it on both sides. So as you can see, I used red thread. Shows up pretty well. Um, as you can see, I sewed the one side. Now I'm going to flip bad side to bad side, just the corner here, and I'm going to hem that. Okay, so I finished sewing. As you can see. And now all I'm going to do is reach in and flip it right side out. And there is the bag portion. If you want, you can um, put a button on to hold the lid, the flap closed, or um, put some Velcro there. It would serve the same purpose. And next, we're going to do the straps for a backpack. You're going to need to make two straps. And all I did to find the length was I cut a strip of fabric. I took my doll, and then I ensured that it could go all the way around her arm. I cut mine about two inches thick. Okay, so first, to start, you're going to fold over the top and the bottom and sew across. And then you're going to fold it good side to good side and sew all the way down. So you've got like a giant long tube. Then you're going to take your tube and flip it right side out. And you may need the assistance of like a pencil or a pen or something to help push it along because this is a really long piece and it's thin. Alright, once you finally get it all flipped right side out, the next portion I'm going to use my needle and thread to sew on the straps. I'm going to sew the top of the strap to where the lip of the front of the backpack is. And then 
I'm just going to use an in and out stitch. And then you go to the bottom of the backpack and you're going to sew the strap to the bottom of the backpack. Ta-da! Backpack's finished. Now as for the messenger bag, you're going to create a bag just like you did for the backpack, but the only difference is the strap. This one I've actually added a button to so it can hold the flap closed. And you just use one. It's got to be twice as long as the backpack strap to fit over her head and under her arm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a messenger bag and a backpack. If you guys have any ideas of crafts that I can make, leave a comment in the comment area below. And also don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you next week.